Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? I am in upstate New York now. If you watched the last video, you knew that I was coming here. I'm hanging out with my friend Carla from the channel Once Off Kissed. I will make sure to put a link for her channel in the description so you can find her. She has been keeping snakes almost twice as long as I've been alive. And she was one of the very first supporters of Triple B TV and is still a very big supporter today. Really wanted to take a moment to come out here and visit her here in New York um, before I head off to Garrett's house. And we're just gonna take it easy. I heard it's supposed to rain a little bit, so we might we might not be getting out too much. We might be staying indoors, but just gonna hang out with some snakes and I figured I'd give you guys a little bonus video from here in New York. Uh, Cause hey, why not? So Carla is a keeper that's always kind of stood out to me with her channel because she has a very much different approach than a lot of people I've come in contact with. Um, she's almost like a mage of snakes, I think. She's got this very close social interaction with them. She interacts with her snakes on a daily basis and does things with them that uh, is different. I just think it's really cool. It's uh, She has a very close relationship with all of her animals. And yeah, let's, why don't we go, go inside and hang out with Carla and her snakes. So I've been laying here for quite some time with this snake just hanging out. This snake is super chill, super chill. I mean, how long how long have we been sitting here, Carla? I know, for about an hour and a half, two hours. And it, something I've never seen before, this, Carla literally told this snake no and to stop moving. He would start moving towards Marmot Pit and start moving here and there and she would say, no. <laughs> and he stopped moving. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Is it, how do you, how do you, how do you do that? You have to let them know that you have control of them. They trust you, you trust them. And regardless of how strong they are, how big they are, they have to know that you trust them. So they know you have control of them at all times. It's significant because you're responsible for their safety and they rely on you to take good care of them and to be sure they're safe. So you're, it's, I've taught all my hand commands and nose taps. I've never had to raise a hook to them for anything. I'm sitting over here doodling around my keys. <laughs> <laughs> but all my snakes are very friendly and social and that's because they've been brought up that way. There's no reason for your snakes to be defensive and no reason for them to be aggressive. What you're doing when you make your snakes, you urge them to act that way is you're helping them build that defense mechanism and that's not what you want if you want a friendly social snake. All my snakes are drop fed. They don't strike their food because I worked with them enough that I've tried to take that aggressive behavior out of them because it's not significant in a captured environment for them to act like that. They don't have to fight for the food. They don't have to fight for anything, so there's no reason for them to be aggressive animals. And you're only making them mean, you're making them more defensive, and you're making them less trusting by encouraging them to be aggressive. So that's how it works. You gotta think like a snake. <laughs> you do. I mean, I've been, I've been hanging out with snakes my whole life, and I've, I've never met snakes quite like this. So it's, it's very... It's new. It's a new experience for me yet again. That's the thing that never ceases to amaze me how many new experiences I can have with snakes. Look at this dude. He's not going anywhere. He won't. They're happy with people. I've had to move a couple times. I've gotten... It's my own impatience and my... Uh, my need to move is much greater than his. <laughs> because... Definitely. It will be like that all day if you let him sit there. <laughs> He's big. He's a big boy. It's really unique, too, because usually my snakes aren't attracted to male figures. They won't. They'll go to a man, a male figure, and 
just to say hi and meet them and then they like turn around and look for me and come back to me but I think uh, my snakes have adopted Brian or either he's adopted them I'm not sure which the case may be but they get along great and that's really new for me to see that my snakes trust a man that they've never met before because they were raised by a woman and they're very trusting of females more so than men because I don't have men in my life that work with them or handle them Brian came in, they took right to him. So it's a gift you have, and the snakes know you have it. When you approach them, they know more about you than you know about yourself. Trust me. Chilling. Yeah. Well, that's it for us today here, guys. Kind of short one, just a little bonus video. Just wanted to feature Carla and her awesome snakes. So thank you guys for joining us for this one. Carla, thank you very much for having us here. It was a great pleasure to be here. And uh, you got to come with us to one of the shows sometime. Hmm? Yeah. All right, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. <laughs>